This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're gonna go over everything in iOS 17.2 beta one, which just came out to registered developers. And here is the build number in case you're curious, 21C5029G. So G at the end means we've got quite a few more betas coming, but let's go over every new feature in here. And I'm gonna tell you guys if you should update. So the first new thing is the journal app. And I don't know who's actually going to care about this, but there is now a journal on your iPhone in 17.2. So I'm going to turn on passcode, sure, why not? Allow it, scan my face, there we go. So you can journal if you want. I turned off suggestions because it seemed kind of creepy, but they say it's all on device. But if you want to journal, here you go. Now in iMessage, you can actually do a tap back with a sticker. So you can click add a sticker right here and you can add one of those if you want straight there as a tap back emoji, which is pretty cool. And I like that it's pretty small, so it doesn't cover up the entire thing. There's a bunch of stuff in Apple Music, but I don't use that, so I can't really show you it. But you've got collaborative playlists, a playlist for favorites, and there's a focus filter for Apple Music listening history. Now, something that's pretty cool if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, if you go into settings, go to action button, there is a new one here for translate. And if you set it to this, uh, and you turn it on. Well, first it's gonna force you to download all these if you want you know, on-device translation. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll show you guys what this can do. So now if I press and hold the action button, it is going to listen to what I'm saying. It's gonna translate it to Spanish, supposedly. So let's see how it does. This is a test. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it actually did it that time. Okay, well that feature will be good someday, hopefully, but right now it's super glitchy and barely works. We have iMessage contact key verification, which you can turn on, but I can't turn it on yet because all my devices have to be updated. So we'll wait for 17.2 to roll out. And then we'll do that. If you don't know what contact key verification is, you probably don't need it, but I do recommend turning it on if you do know what it is, because it can help you uh, verify who you're talking to on iMessage. Make sure there's no man in the middle hack or something going on. Now there's something new here. It's called messages in iCloud. It's been renamed. Uh, so if you click on that, you can see how it is and what's linked up with it. So you can see I got 20 gigs, 103,000 messages, and you can force it to sync right now if you want. If you go to your emergency alerts, there's a new local awareness. Apple will use your approximate location to uh, improve timeliness and stuff. So if you want to turn that on, you can. Uh, I'm not going to. There's new weather widgets and also a digital clock widget. So if you care about that, you can use those. Apple added a new body section in the Memojis. You can change your waist, shoulders, cup size, and arms if you want. But yeah, those are the main headlining features, but I want to talk about the actual smoothness and bug fixes. First of all, there is no more of the glitch where you swipe between pages and then pull down. That glitch is totally gone now. Uh, I believe it was fixed in 17.1, but it's totally gone in 17.2 as well. So that is good. That was the main bug I had. But after updating to this, I actually found everything feels smoother. So this also refines things a little bit more than 17.1 did, I think. So if you're on the beta train, go update. But if you're not, maybe just wait this one out unless you really need some of those new features I mentioned, because it is kind of a hassle to keep updating with all of the betas. But if you like that, go for it. This seems pretty stable. I haven't had any issues with 17.2 beta one yet. So check it out, guys. Battery life seems fine. Performance seems fine. Smoothness also seems fine. So I don't have any issues. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.